But this is a grocery store, Joe. We're going to have to get you inside one if you've never been in one. I'm in St. Charles, Illinois, because Aldi's U.S. headquarters is not far from here. This is one of Aldi's remodeled stores. In fact, they are aiming to be the third largest U.S. grocer by store count by the year 2022. And so right now they're opening their 1800th store today. 700 more to go as part of this expansion plan that Aldi announced about a year ago to spend $5.3 billion building new stores and remodeling their existing stores like this one here today. Today, Aldi says they are halfway through that remodeling program. They're announcing a goal to have 20% of the store actually brand new compared to what you saw last year with 40% more fresh fruit food options. And Aldi U.S. CEO Jason Hart says, look, when I'm looking for locations, I'm looking to be close to competitors. I know that shoppers do shop more than just Aldi, though we hope that they will shop more and more exclusively just with us. He says that our sales have doubled over the last five years. We plan to double them going forward. And that's not all. But our same store sales over the past several years has uh, been much more than what the industry's realized. And, and that, that, that gives us more confidence to ex invest in the, both the new stores, but also to invest in the existing stores in the network to continue to grow our acceptance with the, uh, with the consumers. And it's resonating. It's working. Well, Aldi is definitely growing. A.T. Kearney retail consultant Randy Burt estimates it still probably has just about a 2% market share. The U.S. grocery industry is actually quite fragmented. And, Joe, Aldi plays in the private label space. So 90% of what you find in this Aldi store is going to be exclusive private labels that you can only get at Aldi. That also means that the prices are much lower. And private label is really growing in acceptance. It's up about 4% compared to last year. That's according to Nielsen, though. It did dip a bit the year before that. Millennials are particularly keen and at least more open to looking at private label foods. Is, Back this, over to you guys. is this more of a competitor to a Trader Joe's or to a, I'm just trying to so it's I'm trying to put in a category. I knew, I knew you were going to ask that. So so I would say that the closest thing to an Aldi in the U.S. is actually a Lidl, which may not help you much, Andrew, because they're also uh, pretty new. They just opened up their first U.S. stores along the East Coast last year. Trader Joe's actually is part of Aldi South, which is a separately operated company to Aldi North, which is part of where Aldi U.S. is. So Trader Joe's does have its own private label product, so it's very similar in that vein, yes. Uh, um, Aldi also is sort of known for its no frills. So they charge you for bags. So if you don't want to pay extra for bags, then you bring your own. That's how they can lower the cost. When you get your carts outside, you actually put a quarter in it to release the cart, bring it back yeah, inside. Yeah. They have eco-friendly lighting. They so do a like lot a of things to bring kind of the cost thing. really uh, low. <laughs> Courtney, so very I'm glad much, you very said much. That. There's I'm only five aisles in here. Right. I'm glad you did the comparison to Lidl because when we went to break, I thought mm -hmm. I was thinking about Lidl. Lidl just opened in the last couple of yes. years, right? Aldi's been here for 40 years under yes. the Aldi brand or? Yes, yeah, really? Aldi has been here for 40 years since 1976. So today they opened up their 1800th store. They're looking to have 2,500 stores, which would make it the third biggest grocery store by footprint when you're talking about store count. So that would be behind Walmart number one and Kroger number two. And Aldi says that they aim to serve 100 million shoppers by the year 2022. They said that they actually have 7 million new shoppers just last year alone. So they have been around, but they're not everywhere, 35 states. So maybe that's why you haven't uh, had a big right. experience in an Aldi. But you're right, Michelle, Lidl did open last year, um, started in Virginia, and then expanded both north and south over the last year. Uh, they still have under 100 stores, though.